welcome to Travel Discovery. Today we are in the Turks and Caicos. I am Lisa and I will be your host. The Turks and Caicos, oddly named, are a group of 40 low-lying coral islands dotting their own path of turquoise water on the edge of the Caribbean Sea. population is about 49,000. The official language is English, which makes it a beautiful tourist location. You can go to turksandcaicostourism.com for more information. I will put the link in the description. Turks and Caicos Island received a level one notice from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, 65% of the destination's population has received at least one dose of the Pfizer vaccine, and 55% of the adult population is fully vaccinated. It is one of the most inoculated countries in the world, and that is according to the Turks and Caicos Islands Tourist Board. They have opened its borders to U.S. travelers in July 2020. Its occupancies have been rising, and in April 2021, they climbed to 70%. So you might consider Turks and Caicos as a getaway destination. The Turks and Caicos is renowned for its silky, smooth, white sand and is dominated by a long stretch of flashy hotels and resorts. The visit is December to July. Some top things to see, Grace Bay, the setting for the best resorts and the most vivid sunsets. Grand Turk, a world away from the main island. It's a charming old world Caribbean island. The hidden beach of Middle Caicos, reached by stairs amid the cliffs. You can visit Chalk Sound, it's a bright blue, almost neon in its intensity. You can visit Caicos Conch Farm, where you can find out everything you could hope to know about these great pink mollusks. If you're into diving, you can dive the clear waters almost anywhere, discovering rich marine life. And you can also spot humpback whales off Salt Cay. Random fact, Canadians love holidaying in the Turks and Caicos so much that there's been talk of making the islands a province of Canada. We'll wait and see. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time on Travel Discovery to see what country we'll discover next.